good morning youtube and welcome back to the channel um i'll just start by saying today's video is going to be a lot different from what you guys are used to it's actually going to be more vlog style and less of a step-by-step -step tutorial long story short hopefully is okay so i haven't been uploading consistently here on this channel and that's because i'm depending on the business to fund the business and basically I get my supplies every time I make a sale and I haven't been making sales regularly and I know someone's gonna suggest some solutions I kind of have an idea of what it is I know a part of it is uh, my color selection and then I know the other thing is um, my price is one up and I used to like sell everything for $275, $300 but now I'm actually charging my worth and I'm not settling and accepting any lowball offer and that's something I really want to stick to. And as far as the colors that I use, I just want to be free to create. I don't want to have to be in a box and stick to neutrals. I enjoy creating and I want this business to be fun for me. And I understand that I do need to make profit, but more than that, I want to enjoy it. I want this to be a passion. I don't want to feel like I'm limited and have to stick to protocol because then that takes away all of the fun and the enjoyment. I like to just be free to create and just be an artist. So that's that's that so i'm not really saying this to like look for pity or you know asking for help or anything i'm just saying that matter of factly because i'm just trying to make a point and the point is today i decided that i was just gonna go into my storage and get the supplies that i already have and see whatever i can flip with what i already have and so i wasn't gonna do a video because i didn't think you guys would find that very interesting um and I just decided why not just film it as a, as a vlog style video and that way I have it. If I don't ever post it, no harm done. So that's kind of where I am. And I want to encourage you guys to stay tuned because the sooner I get monetized on this channel, the sooner I can um, produce more consistently. Um, I just need to generate some flow of income from somewhere so that I can always um, produce more furniture flips. So whether it be here from YouTube or whether it be from selling a dresser, Either way, I just, I'm trying to get to a place where I have something consistent coming in and that will really help. So I hope that doesn't turn you away, but um, I just wanted to be transparent. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and film. Not gonna be worried about every single angle and every single detail. I'm just gonna be working because I wanna work fast and get this done so I can get it posted and hopefully get it sold sooner than later. So the, the goal is to get this done in no more than two days. And I'm challenging myself to a coffee table and a pair of nightstands. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I just wanna jump on and give you guys a quick tip. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and replace the hardware and you already know the new measurements of your new hardware, it's kind of a good time to do it in the beginning of your furniture flip. And that's because you can kind of gauge the center of the drawers in the vertical direction because the old hardware holes are already there. So as far as finding the center going horizontally, that takes a little bit more math. Um, I just YouTubed it <laughs> because I math is just not my thing and I didn't really know how to find the center marks without like a, a template. So what you do is you measure from side to side. Mine was 18 inches across, which makes it very easy because now you just find the center of 18, which is nine inches. And then from there, measure out from the left side and the right side, however far you need to, to match your hardware. So basically from that nine inch mark in the middle, I'm going to measure two inches to the left and two inches to the right because my hardware is four inches long. 
and it doesn't get any easier than that i was so grateful to have these four inch hardware uh handles and it just worked out so now i'm just gonna drill those holes i will say my bit was acting funny i thought that the drill was dying but it was actually the bit so i was glad to have found a different one um, but i just didn't record it but once i switched out the bit everything worked perfectly fine It's lunchtime, so I already had a lunch prepared from the day before. Meal prepping is like a lifesaver, so do that if you are a full-time working person. <laughs> it definitely helps. But anyway, back outside and I finished up my sanding. It took so long, and finally by this point, I'm covered in dust, so I'm getting ready to hop in the shower. It's not gonna be like a deep shower. It's just gonna be a rinse off quickly type of shower. I'll take another shower later, but, um. Here I am and I feel so fresh and so cooled off. Now I'm ready to kind of get back into it and go hard and get this done. Okay, so let's just quickly get into the paint that I'm using. This is Exalta by Dunn Edwards. Again, just something I had left over from my previous transformations. It's in a matte finish, it's in the color black. And you should know that it's only compatible with a paint sprayer, so you can't use a roller or a brush. But if you have a sprayer, I think that's great because this paint does go a long way. And it's supposed to be super durable. So much so that it does not need a top coat so if you're new here and you're wondering about top coats and why you never see me use them i typically just ask for paint that can stand on its own and this is what the sales rep recommended and in my experience it, it does well so the only other thing about this paint is that it's kind of see-through or opaque if you will so you can definitely see the wood grain always um, which isn't a problem but you can also see the bondo where I used to fill in the, the hardware holes. So that's kind of the downside to that. But other than that, it's it's really nothing dramatic. You can't really see it unless you just like know where it's at or if you're staring at it intensely or something like that. So 
it's fine. I'm learning to let the little things go and not allow them to bother me as much. But as far as right now, I'm just adding my scripture. So if you're new here, I always add a scripture to my pieces. And I just decided to do it now to take advantage of the time because, again, I want to get everything done in 48 hours. And this was prime opportunity. Okay, <clears throat> I've seen people do this in the past and I wanna try it, but I'm so scared. So I wanna make some, a custom stain color. This is espresso, but it's giving black and I don't want black, I want dark brown. And this is the special walnut that I just used on the blue dresser, but it gave like an orangey finish. But of course, like here it is looking perfectly brown, but I just don't believe it's gonna show up like that on the tabletop. So I'm thinking of mixing the two, but I'm nervous. I wanna make sure I mix enough and I hope I get the right color. You only get one chance, you know? So I don't know, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. And of course, if y'all have not tried this ice cream, I believe I use this like in all of my videos because um, we save the, containers but salted caramel craze is where it's at so they only sell that at walmart as far as i've seen um at least the blue bunny version of it so yeah check that out and i will check back in with you guys in just a moment so i know you guys are wondering what i ended up doing and drum roll please <laughs> i ended up punking out and i just decided to use the special walnut as is but i'm so pleased with my decision i think it looks great and this is a whole vibe so enjoy In an ice cream break, you know, definitely not salted caramel craze, but it's all right. It's a uh, what is it? I don't even know. I don't really like it that much. The chocolate is my favorite, so I thought I would try it, and I was a little disappointed. Bought me this and sit down for like 20 minutes and then get back up and do my second coat of paint. by saying um, I'm terrible at vlogging I really don't like I don't like this direct face-to-face -face in the camera 
Um, <laughs> I know I look bummy and yeah, forgive me. Um, we are done for today. It is 5 p.m. and I finally just finished. Cleaned up my station, all of that stuff. So cleaned out my gun. So I'm ready to take a shower. My shower water is running in the back, so I need to hurry up because water bills. But um, yeah, I did everything I wanted to do as far as today. All I have now is just a little bit more work on that coffee table, which hopefully I plan to just knock that out tomorrow if I don't feel too tired or anything like that. So prime it and paint it and then we'll be done. Um, nightstands are pretty much just complete. All I have to do now is add the hardware and I think I'm gonna line the drawers. We'll see how I feel. And that's that. So catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day and it's 9.20. I'm getting a later start, but I did do some prep work off camera. So everything's taped off and uh, ready to go. Um, getting ready to prime it using my Zen Bin primer and then we'll paint it. And I honestly only think I'm going to need one coat with the paint that I'm using today. We'll talk more about that later. And uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell y'all. I can't remember. Oh, I gotta seal the top as well with my wipe on poly. So I'm literally out of primer. I'm out of my larger tape and drape and I use all of one of my rolls of tape. So that's kind of what I mean by when I, and I, oh, I just said I used all my primer. But yeah, that's what I mean by like supplies. I, I run through them and then, yeah, I just have to kind of wait around to restock, so. All right, here we go. Okay, so here I am just priming everything. And then once I finish this, I go in the house and I actually line the drawers to the nightstands. So after I finish that, the primer is dry and I come back outside to finish up with my paint. So I'm gonna use Evo by Dunn Edwards. And this paint was actually recommended to me before they recommended the Exalta. And then eventually they ran out of stock of the Evo and then they suggested that I try out Exalta. So personally, I do like the Evo just a smidget better. It definitely dries nice and hard and again, does not require a top coat. And the only thing about it is I think it has a little bit more shine to it than, um, than I'm used to. So this is a satin paint, but it just looks more like a semi-gloss. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but that's that. So <laughs> I'm just going to paint both sides and then go in the house and do a coat of wipe on poly so although i did finish this table in two days i still have to go back and do a, a couple more coats of wipe on poly so it's not completely done but it's done as far as whatever i'm able to do up to this point and so in just a moment you guys are gonna see the reveal of both of these projects and i'm just so excited so keep watching
guys so i am so excited and pleased with the results of both projects um you guys did see the inspo picture for the coffee table and of course it wasn't identical but i think it still looks really good i i was going for a darker tabletop but i still really like it and i don't know how to price either one of these projects because i've only done nightstands once once in the past and then i don't remember ever doing any co coffee tables i don't think um so if you guys have any recommendations you can let me know i'm just curious it'll probably already be posted for sale by the time you guys are seeing this video but i'm just curious to know uh, what you guys would price them at and i'm just really really satisfied and pleased with the results um if you guys enjoyed this type of content you can let me know i probably i'll probably revisit a, a revisit this again in the future but this is this was really just like an on the fly type of last minute idea um and I think it worked out. I think the video is coming along. I'm actually in the process of editing it right now. It's all, this is all the same day. Um, I just had to run out and do a couple errands. So that's why I look a little different, but yeah. So literally today is, I don't even know what today is, but I know it's Thursday, but I'm literally gonna post this tomorrow, which is Friday. So you guys are probably seeing this now and I love you guys for watching it into the end. And I'll see you guys with my next video, hopefully soon. Till next time. Bye.